actress Uma Thurman has revealed a secret feud with director Quentin Tarantino after he allegedly made her do a dangerous stunt on Kill Bill. The mom of three opened up about her role with directing legend Quentin at the end of filming Kill Bill back in 2003. Filming had taken nine months and the crew only had four days left to shoot the famous scene where she's driving the blue convertible to Kill Bill. Uma told the New York Times she didn't want to drive the car as it had been deemed unsafe by others on set but said Quentin, who described her as his muse, forced her. Quentin came in my trailer and didn't like to hear no, like any director, she said. He was furious because I'd cost them a lot of time. But I was scared. He said, I promise you the car is fine. It's a straight piece of road. Hit 40 miles per hour or your hair won't blow the right way and it'll make you do it again. But that was a death box that I was in. The seat WASNT screwed down properly. It was a sand road and it was not a straight road. Writer, director Quentin Tarantino and actress Uma Thurman present their new film Kill Bill Volume 1. They were secretly in a big row image, Getty she smashed into a palm tree and unseen footage released to Uma 15 years later by Quentin shows her slumped over the steering wheel and carried out of the car. She said, when I came back from the hospital in a neck brace with my knees damaged and a large mass of egg on my head and a concussion, I wanted to see the car and I was very upset. Quentin and I had an enormous fight, and I accused him of trying to kill me. And he was very angry at that, I guess understandably, because he didn't feel he had tried to kill me. Two weeks after the smash she sent Miramax a legal letter reserving the right to sue, they reportedly later said they would release the footage if she signed a contract waiving her rights. She refused. A year later the pair were on the promo trail image, AFP, Getty Images actress Uma Thurman and director Quentin Tarantino attend the Los Angeles premiere of the Miramax film Kill Bill Vol. 1. Image, Getty Image, PA director Quentin Tarantino actress Uma Thurman talk at the after party for Miramax Kill Bill Vol. 2 Image, Getty we were in a terrible fight for years, she added. We had to then go through promoting the movies. It was all very thin ice. We had a fateful fight at Soho House in New York in 2004 and we were shouting at each other because he wouldn't let me see the footage and he told me that was what they had all decided. She recently admitted that she was too angry to comment publicly about inappropriate behavior in the film industry. And now the Kill Bill actress has revealed that she's getting closer to having her say as she wished Happy Thanksgiving to everyone on Instagram, except Weinstein and his wicked conspirators. Happy Thanksgiving. I am grateful today, to be alive, for all those I love, and for all those who have the courage to stand up for others, Uma began her post. I said I was angry recently, and I have a few reasons, but too, in case you couldn't tell by the look on my face. I feel it's important to take your time, be fair, be exact, so, Uma Thurman and Kill Bill she continued, Happy Thanksgiving everyone. Except you Harvey, and all your wicked conspirators, I'm glad it's going slowly you don't deserve a bullet, stay tuned, Uma concluded. The post was attached with a still photograph of Thurman in Kill Bill, Volume 2, a film produced by Miramax, the company Weinstein founded. At that moment, Thurman's character described the roaring rampage of revenge her character Beatrice Kiddo went on against her tormentor Bill. Earlier this month, Thurman was asked at the press event of her new Broadway play what she thought about women in the industry speaking out against inappropriate behavior in the workplace. Uma Thurman said, I think it's commendable. I have learned, I am not a child and I have learned that, when I've spoken in anger, I usually regret the way I express myself. So I've been waiting to feel less angry. And when I'm ready, it'll say what I have to say. Director Quentin Tarantino actress Uma Thurman talk at the after party for Miramax Kill Bill Vol. 2 Image, Getty Thurman's longtime collaborator Quentin Tarantino previously admitted he was aware of the Harvey Weinstein allegations long before dozens of women came forward to accuse the movie mogul of UAL assaults and harassment. The director, who has worked closely with the now-disgraced producer for over two decades, apologized for not taking action sooner. I knew enough to do more than I did, he told the New York Times, the paper that published the bombshell investigation against Weinstein. I wish I had taken responsibility for what I heard, he added. If I had done the work I should have done then, I would have had to not work with him. Tarantino worked with Weinstein on films ranging from 1992's Reservoir Dogs to 2009's Inglorious Bastards Image, Reuters Image, Reuters The Pulp Fiction Director, 54, said he knew he did a couple of these things, adding that it was impossible anyone close to Weinstein did not image, Getty we allowed it to exist because that's the way it was, he said image, Getty Images Europe The Pulp Fiction Director, 54, said he knew he did a couple of these things, adding that it was impossible anyone close to Weinstein did not.
The report stated that among the cases Tarantino was aware of was actress Rose McGowan reaching a settlement with the producer. Tarantino, who has worked with Weinstein on films ranging from 1992's Reservoir Dogs to 2009's Inglorious Bastards, called for Hollywood to stop tolerating despicable actions by men. We allowed it to exist because that's the way it was, he said.